hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video we are going to be doing some planting if my dog stop barking I, so you guys can hear me I don't know why she's anyway I hope you guys can hear me over her barking but today we're going to be planting uh, island bloom and the name of it is oleander I got these two babies from Walmart when I saw it I'm like oh I remember this plant from last year and it blooms furiously through the summer so I wanted this to put in two pots to put in my front door and so I got them and it's been sitting here for a little while so today is gonna be the day that we're gonna plant them let me tell you okay so this plant needs six hours of sun. My front door gets about that much sun. Um, although it's east, east facing, it gets that much sun. Uh, it likes um, steady moisture, so it likes a lot of water. Um, I always forget about the plants at my front door to put water on them, so I truly hope I remember this. It's uh, six to 12 tall and wide and hardiness to zone hardiness to 32 fahrenheit blooms early summer well it's blooming right now blooms early summer to late summer so it's getting it's blooming right now so and i know most of these plants come out to greenhouses so that's why it's probably blooming right now but um, I'm looking forward to the blooms until the end of summer. So anyway, <laughs> we are going to plant these babies up. Now I do have some more plants to put at the bottom. So I'm going to show you those. But let's get these. Let me get the other plants and get these in the pots. And then we'll talk about the other plants that I'm going to put below this. Because these guys. Oh, I can't even lift up. See? it's a standard so putting this in a pot at my front door is gonna look beautiful <laughs> i can't wait let's do this Okay, I know you guys can't see the top, but I'm going to show you it in a few minutes. The soil that I'm using in, using here, I uh, pot this um, pot up in um, late November. So we didn't really get to utilize the soil as much as I wanted to. So I took some bulbs out of this pot. And so I'm using the same soil. And all I'm going to do... I'm gonna just add some holly tone.
I'm just adding some holly tone for fertilizer and we're gonna plant this baby up. Today is a beautiful day guys. It was very warm today, but not human. It was real good. So that's the kind of weather that I appreciate. So I want to make sure this plant is straight. I'm directly in the middle of this pot because we're going to pack in some more plants here. Okay, so at the bottom of this pot, I'm gonna put two mandevilla. They're pink blooming, and since this is already a darker pink, this is a lighter pink. I'm gonna put these two babies right here. I'm also gonna be using this tricolor verbena. Right here. We're gonna put that somewhere here. I wanted to add all my colors and so it can spread around so I'm gonna put it like this so it's like in the middle because these I want to give these space to grow and also to give the verbena some space to grow I'm thinking about adding something else but let me see when I'm finished packing this in what it looks like before I add anything else Okay, so that's how I'm gonna put it. So I got the verbena, I split the verbena. Make sure you guys can see, I split the verbena and I put the two mandevilla. And this is gonna fill in perfectly well. So I'm gonna pack it now with soil and I think that's it. We'll see when I'm done.
Okay, so we got our standard, which is the oleander with the bright pink. Doesn't that look beautiful? And then below, we got our beautiful plants. Now, the mandevilla, instead of putting something for it to climb on, as it starts to, you know, like really fill out, I'm going to try wrapping it around this standard here and see like, let this climb up this as well with all the blooms. It's going to fall in here. It's going to, oh, I'm getting my bite by mosquito. Uh, yeah, it's going to fall in here kind of like when it fill out and so is the verbena because you know verbena will take over as well. So the combination of pink, the brighter pink to the top, and then below with a little bit of white on this, I'm sure it's going to look beautiful. So that is it. I'm going to leave it alone. I wanted to put something else in the middle. I'm still thinking about it. But when I finish with the other one, I'm going to figure out whether I want to add something to the middle or not. But right now, this is the look. This is what it's going to be. Okay, so these are my two pots. What I'm going to do is, I have the homestead verbena that grows pretty crazy. This plant grows, this plant you got to cut back and all of that. So I'm going to use a piece of this, which is the purple, and pop it in the middle of both pots. You see how beautiful that look? I'm going to do that. Okay, so this is my two pots, how they look. Very beautiful with the standard. I know I need to wipe off the white pots a little bit. I've had these pots for a little while. I got them from Walmart, but I need to clean them off. Anyway, doesn't that look beautiful? The little purple just popped in there. Now here's the thing, when I try to split the verbena, it kind of mess up the root system a little bit. So I kind of try to like tuck it in there Hopefully it catches well and um, and give the pot a show as well with all this pink in it. Because I know it's a lot of pink. It's the bright pink. It's the light pink. It's the pink and white. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just put a little dash of purple in there so you get pink, white, and purple. Okay? So hopefully this does it. I'm going to put this on my front patio. Then we're going to see how it look over there and then we're going to continue planting because I got to put some more stuff in the ground. However, the wind is picking up. I don't think it's supposed to rain today, but it's getting pretty windy. So let's hurry up. Okay, so this is how it looks out here. Let's try to pull this out. There we go. This is how it looks up here. It's going to have that pink right there over there this one look a little tilted and I try to like balance it back I know when I plant it it looks straight but maybe I'll put a stake in it and pull it back like that anyway that is the look right there now I'm still debating whether I want to plant underneath the two boxwood and maybe I'm gonna tuck something in there 
to give it some sort of balance maybe something purple or maybe just so, some sort of vine or something that makes it pop I'll probably put something but right now this is it beautiful beautiful can't wait for it to fill in everything you plant for the beginning it kind of look a little rough until it fills in and once it fills in it looks beautiful so I can't wait for this to fill in now I do have my little pot right here <laughs> my little spring pot with these little eyes that still looks beautiful so I think I'm gonna put it back right up there and let it live its time out <laughs> right up there so yeah because it's white it has all the beautiful colors the practically practically the same colors that I have up here so I'm gonna put it back now look how they look this actually makes me want to put a whole bunch of little pots right there because it just looks pretty it looks pretty in this corner with the three pots although i don't have anything under the boxwood it just looks pretty you know me everything has to be pretty but this this little tilt here is bothering me so i gotta find a way to kind of like stake it up because now i can't push it back I can't get it back so maybe after everything start growing it won't bother me that much well maybe I'll try to stake it we'll see but pretty ain't it all right we're gonna continue planting Okay, so the next thing we're going to be planting is these beautiful pink dianthus. Look at the colors on these babies. Yes, and I want to put it in this corner here because it's going to look pretty from this angle. Let me show you. So I already have a lot of pink over here. So in that corner, I kind of push it back some. Or maybe I'll bring it a little forward like it's going to fall in between here since I already have pink here but it's two different kind of pink one is a lighter pink and one is a darker pink so I think let's see first of all let's see it's it's gonna get 20 inches high and 14 inches wide it needs space in 10 inches apart the let's see it the cold hardiness is 10 to negative zero keep moist first two years oh it's still water <laughs> so I guess after two years you ain't got to keep so much water on them huh all right I think what I'm gonna do is push it a little bit to the front here like push it more up here since I got three of them and we're planting in threes we're gonna kind of like because it's 10 inches apart we're gonna put it like that it's gonna fall because the all right it's gonna fall but we know exactly where it's gonna go so we're gonna open it like that so it's kind of like between the arborvitaes and then we have over here so we have the coreopsis now i kind of space out the coreopsis the way i want it as well and these are also perennial these are gonna get let's see eight to twelve inches high and 8 to 12 inches wide so this is gonna be like a bundle of yellow in this corner likewise the pink is gonna be like a bundle of pink in that area right there so I'm gonna put three over here and three over there and look at those colors in between each other looks perfect I wanted to move it and I thought about it because the pink is over here and I didn't want to put pink over there but I love pink. I love pink and I love yellow. So I don't mind the two pink together. It's okay. It's okay. 
it's okay we're gonna get a lot more colors over here during the summer so and then I'm gonna walk over there cuz I'm about to plant that red right there and this is my pollinator garden so I'm trying to spread out all the colors I'm also trying to put more pollinating plants now the red over there is not a pollinator plant but we still gonna put it in there because basically I got nowhere else to put it and I really want that plant mm-hmm Mm -hmm. y'all know the deal all right <laughs> i'm gonna put the camera down so i can get the plants in Okay, a bursting of colors in this area. Doesn't that look pretty? And I'm so glad I planted right after the rain because the ground was nice and soft. If this ground wasn't saturated, there is a lot of roots and a lot of rocks and so much contraption at the bottom. So that's why I add the compost and the um the mulch earlier because this would have this would have been hell this would have been hell to plant but thank goodness it was very very easy i don't know what nala is doing over there but she's biting up some trees and stuff uh, uh. anyway anyway guys doesn't that look beautiful okay so i have over here a orange rocket barberry the orange rocket barberry I love this plant but and I got it I love it I decided to pick it up and then I didn't know where to plant it so I decided that I was gonna plant it in this same area here because this area have a lot of colors I think this is gonna look nice in this color I think the color is gonna look nice in this area there's a pop of that reddish color and because it stay red all the time I decided that I was gonna put it right between here I don't know how it's gonna look when I put it between there right now I got the um, the pot in between there and I'm kind of you know you're trying to size it up to see how it looks behind the green and all of that let me see if I pull it a little closer actually I have something else planned there so I can't put it there. I'm gonna have to leave it right where it's at and just shift it back a little bit more but I was trying to you know like look at it for a couple of days and see how it look before I actually put it in the ground but this baby is going right there right there so we're gonna plant this now too
it is in there it doesn't look bad at all I kind of like how it look look at that yeah I kind of like how that look so that's okay and then it stays that color all the time especially if it's getting enough sunlight it's gonna stay there red so yeah I like this I like it yeah I'm trying to convince myself that's why I keep saying yeah yeah it looks good <laughs> but really I really think it does look good in this corner here and if in time I'm not feeling it I'm gonna remove it but right now I like it in this corner okay and again a nice bursting of colors right over here just pops and look beautiful this is the angle right here oh baby she is shaping up so good I'm so glad I created this bed right here so so glad it just looks pretty and the arborvitaes are getting big so when those grow up I'm gonna see what the look is gonna be because <laughs> you know arborvitae spreads so we'll see how that looks but doesn't that look pretty that looks so pretty yeah i know i'm I, I need some stuff some more colors for over there and maybe a nice edge in front there and something right here and you know in time we're gonna fill it in nicely and then i'm gonna be working on my shaded bed like to tuck some plants in there but i'm just i'm just taking this in because I never thought that it would have looked the way it do right now because I keep telling myself oh, I'm gonna leave it like this you know it got enough plants no it don't have enough plants when you create space you have to come up with money to buy plants and that's what I'm doing <laughs> all right and I know I said a million times I got to clean these bird bats but there's two of them I got to clean we'll get around to it y'all don't judge me we'll get around to it okay so the last thing I'm gonna be doing today is this hanging basket now these hanging baskets I got this from Goodwill and I, I believe I found them for like five dollars per basket and I bought the um, the cocoa fiber from Amazon and I got three packs for maybe like $13 or something like that because I believe it was on sale as well so I'm gonna plan this up this is a quick and simple and then I'm gonna finish this video because I know it's probably getting really long and I'm trying not to do that and I'm using the same potty mix I'm using the leftovers from what I just pot up my pots I hope you guys can see this clearly because Nala broke my the tripod that I like to use it's broken so now I'm forced to use this one and I'm not a fan of it Okay, so I'm going to put and then we're going to put these
Okay, so I have to bring you in very close to see this pot here. Well, this hanging basket. And I haven't wet it yet, but I am going to wet it. Now, I was saying, and I didn't know if you guys could hear me because I was so f kind of far away. And let me show you. Nala broke my tripod from the foot and it fell. It's a nice little light. It's very light standing tripod. Oh, see? She broke my tripod, y'all. So I I gotta trash this one. So I'm kind of like now I'm being forced to use one that I don't like using. And look, the tripod fall, and it broke off a piece of my plant. Oh, this is the elderberry. Oh, it's just crazy. Anyway, things happen, right? So back to this hanging basket. I didn't water it in yet. I'm going to water it um, probably before I hang it up and I know it's going to get heavy or maybe I'm going to hang it up first and then wet it and the spot that I want to hang it I don't know if the weight is going to sustain we'll be able to tell after but um, the plants that are in here right now I'm using uh, the Superbina Sparkling Amethyst Verbena and that is right there it's not blooming or anything this little purple right here it's not blooming because most of the plants at Lowe's right now they're not blooming they're I guess because you know some of the blooms went out and they didn't fertilize and stuff like that so most of their plants are not blooming so you got to figure out what it is that's what's going on at Lowe's right now and the other one that I'm using here is super bell over easy coreopsis that yellow and white right there and it looks so beautiful so so beautiful when I saw this yes I did saw sunny side up <laughs> when I saw the yellow and it looks so pretty so pretty and I thought it would go nice with the purple since the purple is the purple and pink is what I'm using a lot in the garden this year so I thought putting a little bit of purple in here between the yellow and white is going to look very pretty. And it should fill in. It should fill in perfectly and kind of fall over this pot once I'm giving it the fertilizer that it needs. But I'm going to clean up here, guys. I'm going to put this away, hang it up, clean up all here. I got two more hanging baskets that I have to do. I'm not going to do them right now. I'm just going to clean up and do this one. And then maybe another day I'm going to do the rest of the hanging baskets. Because I don't have any plants to put in them. I have to get plants to put in them. So I do have some more plants that I need to put in the ground. But I'm not going to do it right now either. Because it's it's after 7 o'clock. So I think I'm going to go chill now. Go get me a nice shower. And relax. Because another day at work tomorrow. So anyway guys. You all have an amazing evening. Hope you get a chance to do something amazing, something beautiful today. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye for now.